Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I am going to teach you two different ways to sew a set in sleeve. A set in sleeve is when the sleeve comes up over your shoulder up here like this and you need a lot of space in your sleeve so that you can lift your shoulder and rotate it. So today I'm going to teach you how to ease the sleeve cap to fit into the arm side of the bodice. Easing is when you are um, kind of squishing the fabric in to make it smaller so that it fits a smaller seam line but you're not gathering it or pleating it. Most of the time when you sew a set and sleeve you are sewing it in the round. With these two methods, one is um, the way that I learned and it's the way that you'll learn from a book or in a class. The other way is quick and easy and it works with most fabrics but sometimes it doesn't work. Now a set in sleeve is when you have already sewn the side seam and the shoulder seam of the bodice and you have sewn the sleeve seam, the underarm seam of the sleeve. It's called sewing in the round because you are connecting these two curved pieces and you're going to be sewing in a circle. You start at one place, go all the way around and then end at one place so you're sewing around in a circle. As you can see I have my back notches and my front notches right here so that I know that it matches up well. Good patterns will have that so you know how to match it up. You also have a notch here at the top that will match up with the shoulder seam and then your underarm seam matches with the seam, uh, the side seam of the bodice. Now I'm going to teach you two different ways to sew in a set in sleeve or sewing the sleeve in the round. One is where you add some stitching and then you have to pull it in um, similar to gathering and then you pin it into the armhole and sew it in. The other one is you do a technique that I learned when I worked in um, an alteration shop for bridal wear where you sew and pull it in with a, a special technique you do with your finger. So I will show you both of those techniques. Um, they both work well but I'll um, tell you the pros and cons after um, I have sewn it so you can see the differences between the two. So the first one is the proper way that you would learn in a book or in a class. Um, the two notches I talked about, the front and back notches, they're here towards the underarm of the seam. So you start at one. We're going to start at the back notch and come around to the front notch. You need to put your stitch length to 3.5 um, that's the how you want the stitches to be just a little bit longer as you're sewing and then you have a straight stitch and you don't change anything else but I start in the middle of I start in the middle of this notch and if you have a 5 8 inch seam allowance then you want to be sewing at a 3 8 inch you want to give yourself a quarter of an inch um, kind of wiggle room. If you have a smaller seam allowance then um, you know you need to make that smaller that you sew in. So I'm just starting here. I don't back stitch but I just start sewing um, 3 8 of an inch away with a 3.5 inch length and I'm going around the top curve of the sleeve. And when I get to this next notch, when I get to the middle of that notch, I do one, I end in the middle and then I pull it out. And I hold on to that thread right here so that when I pull it out I'm not pulling um, the, you don't want to be pulling on that thread to tighten the fabric. You want to wait until you can match it up with the sleeve. What you are going to do is, this is very similar to gathering, where you are going to pull the bobbin thread to 
you know, kind of ease the fabric in. You don't want any tucks or gathers, but you do want the volume to be kind of minimized by pulling on the bobbin thread. So what I like to do is I'm going to put it into the arm side first. So it actually goes into this side. I can tell by that notch. So I'm going to open up this bodice really fast. And if you can't open the bodice, it's okay. The easiest way to sew in a sleeve is to look at the inside of the arm side and the sleeve is, you know, right side out touching the bodice with the right side and you are looking at the inside of the bodice. So I'm going to match up the underarm seam first. And I pin so I can see my pins from the inside of the sleeve because I find it's the easiest to sew when you're looking in the sleeve. So I want my pins on this side. So I match the underarm seam. I'm going to match the, the notch at the top that goes with the shoulder seam. And then I go through and I match the notches. And now you have to, do you see how this has extra volume that is bigger than this and we, we're going to ease that in so that it fits that. Um, I'm going to pull on the bobbin thread. This is the bobbin thread and I'm pulling in but I am not trying to gather this. I'm just trying to kind of like squish it in almost. And we're just doing it until it's going to fit smoothly into this seam so that it matches. I have found that natural fabrics, um, they behave a little bit better when easing and they um, cooperate better. It's easier to kind of um, squish them in to make them fit. It's much easier. I find that polyester really just doesn't stretch well. It doesn't have any give and it doesn't, it's hard to kind of squish it together, kind of to ease it in. So I have found that the natural fibers work the best. The ones that iron well. Oh, I'm going to take that out. So I'm just slowly gathering. Do you see how right here it's starting to, it can come, it could be sewn into like a tuck or a pleat. You don't want that. And I'm going, so then after I've pulled it in, I just, I'm just checking to see if it's going to fit in place. I find that the seam allowance feels much fuller than um, where the actual seam will be. And so sometimes you think, oh, this is too much fabric to pull in. It's not going to work. And sometimes it's just the seam allowance. And it's okay if the seam allowance feels bunchy because the seam allowance is going to be trimmed off at the end and it won't be there and it won't be in the way. And then once you have it eased in, you go through and you pin in between the pins carefully so that it's like all the fabric is in the right place and moved in. So, do you see how that's eased in? The seam allowance seems much like it's gonna much bigger, more volume, but it's okay once we sew it in and trim it off. And now we have to do the same 
to the other side. This is the back of the sleeve. Now you can wrap your threads um, like gathering where you just kind of wrap it so it won't pull out. I usually don't find that um, I have a problem with it pulling out but I'm going to pull it up today just to be safe. So this is the most common way to do a set in sleeve to have that um, eased in and once this is pinned like this then you can go around and sew the circle um, to sew that sleeve in place. Now I'm going to sew the sleeve in. I have found often that people have taught me to start right here at the underarm seam when I'm sewing but because of the shape and the curve I find it really hard to start here. I find that the easiest place to start is starting just below um, one of the side notches and this blouse has a 5 8 inch seam allowance so that is what I'm going to be sewing. I don't pull out this pin and I don't sew over it. I start just below. This way I can get my curves and edges lined up perfectly and then I start sewing and I go all the way around. And you make sure that your sleeve um, seam and your bodice seam are, or the seam allowance is pointing to the back. And I feel, I'm constantly feeling with my fingers to see if I'm sewing over any extra fabric underneath. You don't want to accidentally create a pleat or a tuck on the other side that you can't see. When I'm sewing a sleeve, I like to end with my needle in the fabric so that I can adjust things without pulling it out. I just find it to be a little easier. So I sew. This is the part that is not eased. This is the underarm but I'm about to get to this first, this notch on the other side. So you get over here and this is where the volume starts. And so this is where I just like to go slow, pull out that. And I just like to, I'm feeling for any tucks underneath but I'm also watching the top fabric that can cause a tuck right when you come up to a pin. And it's going to feel like there's a lot of extra fabric over here and that's okay. Make sure that you're following your seam guide so you're doing the right seam allowance. So you see here there's some extra, the easing is a little extra so you have to just make sure that as you're sewing that this is smoothed out and you're not creating any tucks that you don't want. I find that going slow is the best help. Lifting the foot sometimes. So you can see right here um, a little tuck was about to be created. I had to smooth that out, make sure it's in the right place. So another one is getting created right here. I'm going to smooth that out. And then you keep going around.
We're getting close to the end. It gets easier as you get closer to the notch. I'm going to pull that out, make sure these threads are out of the way. And here I am back to the original seam where, or the original stitch where I started. I back stitch a little bit and then I can pull it out. So that sleeve is done except for finishing the raw edges. So I'm doing it at 3 8 inch, which is a quarter inch away from my 5 8 inch seam. And I'm holding my finger back here. And I just start sewing, but I do not lift this finger for a while. You only lift it a couple times. So I'm going like this and see how the fabric is starting to bunch up back there. So you just sew like this and after a while you have to lift and let it move. You can see it kind of is bunchy back there. And then you do this the same thing again. Then you lift and release some of it. Keep sewing. So I just release it when it gets too full, but you really want it to bunch up as you sew. And once I get back to the beginning, I pull it out. Now on this sleeve, since we've already done a lot of the easing um, the way that we sewed it, you can see that it already looks like a sleeve where you know you have room for the shoulder. So now instead of gathering anything, we just pin it in. I have noticed when I use really, really lightweight fabric that doing this method um, brings it in a little too tight. And so sometimes I have to use a seam ripper in one or two spots to um, cut through the thread and release that easing slightly. I have found when I do sleeves that are lined or sleeves out of thicker fabric that this method works just fine and I don't have to release anything. I really just pin it in and it's like the perfect amount being pulled in. I usually only have a problem when it's the lighter weight fabrics. So I'm looking at the inside of my item and I'm and yeah, um, putting the right side of the sleeve to the right side of the arm side. I'm going to pin the bottom first to match up the side seams and then I come in and I pin the top and you won't know if you have eased your sleeve too much until um, you put it into your into the arm site and you just have to check it to see if it works. So it's, you don't have to do, you know, any hand pulling like you do with the other method, but you do have to check. You can't just pin it in and sew it and you really have to check to make sure that it works. So I pinned one notch, now I'm pinning the other notch and then I'm checking so actually the amount looks pretty much perfect for the amount that was eased with my finger so I'm going to pin this right in to check but it looks pretty spot on you can kind of feel if there's um, if there it's going to create any tucks as you're sewing and this feels smooth. 
you can see that the seam allowance, this part at the edge, is fuller than what's right here, which is to be expected. It's the same as the other method, but when you sew it in and trim that off, then it won't be a problem. So now I'm doing the other side of the sleeve cap. And this method, this is the quick and easy method to um, ease in a sleeve for a set and sleeve and it actually, it worked perfectly. It fits perfectly in this space. Um, it's, eased in, it's eased in the exact right amount. So now after I've pinned it in, I can just go sew it, um, just being careful and watching to make sure I don't create any tucks. If I, if the sleeve would have been eased in too much, I usually start right at the top and I seam rip um, a thread on this side and then the exact same spot on the other side. And then I kind of um, push out the easing, um, spread that out and see if that one spot will make it so that um, it's the right shape. If I need to do one or two more, then I will do it right here in the middle. I've had to do that before, but usually just doing one at the top um, will fix that problem. Now I'm doing the, I'm going to sew this sleeve. I'm starting just below the notch on the side so that I can go around the bottom and I keep, I'm feeling with my fingers to see if The fabric is getting bunched up underneath. So then once I get around here to the side where the notch starts, that's where you can see that I have stitches. This is my stitches I did to ease in the fabric. And you go around, you don't have to worry about pulling um, the thread at all or getting it in the way because it doesn't matter. And we go all the way around and as you're going, you need to just be really careful and make sure that there is no tucks or gathers created as you are sewing. So I'm just, I'm smoothing that fabric out as I sew it. Pull out those pins. So you see how that can bunch up and it feels, um, there feels like there's a lot of volume out here on the edge. You just have to be careful and watch where your needle is going. It doesn't matter if there's any tucks or gathers created out here because we are going to trim that off. Make sure that there's nothing caused any problems underneath. And this one, this way seemed to ease that fabric in a lot better. It seems to work better with the fabric that I'm having less problems with um, uh, maybe tucks and gathers being created. So it's a really great method that um, I love to use because it's faster and it usually creates a smoother line. So you backstitch when you get back to the beginning and pull it out. Once I'm done, I check the inside to see if there's any tucks that I missed. And then I check the, the, the bodice. You want to make sure that you didn't create any tucks on um, 
the shoulder or anything. So check, you know, right here that could almost have been a tuck there, but it looks okay. So you check both sides, make sure everything's nice and smooth. Oh, see right here, a little tuck was created and this one will actually probably press out. So I'm not going to go back and fix it, but if it were bigger, I would go back and fix it. So as you can see, both methods work and some will probably work better with other fabrics. The one that worked the best was this fabric was the one where I put my finger behind the sewing machine foot. It pulled in that fabric perfectly and I didn't have any problems with it fitting into the shoulder or um, I didn't have any problems with tucks created even though on this one, um, one did get created and that's just because the fabric was harder to pull in and control when I had that um, easing stitch. They both work and it really depends on how you like to control your fabric and um, your easing. This one you have a little less control over because it just really depends on how the fabric behaves but it often I often see that it works better and it fills the um, arm side better. It's the right size. But you can see both of them have all of this extra volume um, on the edge that when I go to finish the edge, then um, I will trim this off so that it won't be in the way. Now, once your edges are finished and you go to iron this seam, what you wanna do is you want to iron the seam allowance towards the sleeve. So if you can see, right now the seam allowance is going out towards the sleeve and it actually creates kind of um, it creates kind of a bump, you know, it gives you that room you need in your sleeve. If I were to switch it to the other side, it actually creates the bump on this side and it makes this really flat, but you need all the space you can get on this side in the sleeve so that you have room to move your arm and lift your arm. So when you press, you need to make sure that all of the seam allowance goes out towards the seam. I wanna know in the comments, which is your favorite way to prepare a sleeve and sew it into a bodice? Um, do you like to do the sleeve in the round or um, the flat method? Whenever I sew a sleeve and I do a set in sleeve and I need to ease it, I almost always use the trick where I place my finger behind the sewing machine foot. I find that it works the quickest and I rarely have any problems and um, it looks the best and it fits the best. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.